to Jamaican sound system. You hear it NASA links and this morning is another spear fishing morning again. So I'm out to do some spear fishing and this morning I'm here alone because the other guys them busy. So I'm here alone on the journey this morning. I'm here alone on the adventure this morning and um I come back at one of my location where me haven't been in a while, in a, in a few months. Yeah, so I come back to see what takes place at the water yeah? because that spot you know, the water, of the sea have to be, the sea have to be very calm for you, you get a, a good visibility at this location. So the sea calm you know away. So I'm going to test it out and see what's going on you now. Yeah man, so stay tuned guys. Go through the little track you now. When we reach on the seaside, check in back. Yes guys, so the sea through the trees. Yeah man, so the chuck here. So I actually reach at the seaside now and um when we get to notice there's a guy in the shallow here look like he's doing spear fishing, he's snorkeling around, not sure, but he's doing some snorkeling. So I guess he must do must spear my spear fishing still. Yeah man, so the water it look like the visibility no, I go 100% because the kind of you see calm, calm still now, but it kind of have a little wavy, wavy to it. And at this spot, as we said before, the sea have a very calm for we get a good visibility here. So, yes, man. Like the guy just jump off because he look like him, he stuff them there. Oh, man. Otherwise, the water look good. No, if you can see me, they look good. I grow in the corner there, so like you must swim go that side. I don't know if I spear fish in him I do still, but yeah. Well, I'll get myself ready and now I head for the water. Because after 10 now, I actually wake up a little late because I do an next wedding yesterday. And a little tired. Yeah man. So I wake up a little late. But I plan some to go in the water, see where I can find from, from me do. I get the last fish, I don't get no more fish from that. The last file fish. So I need to get some fish this morning. Yeah, man. And the next guy out there too, you know, all he pass my day out there, man. Water full of man. Yes guys, so I get myself ready you now and then made for the water. I don't waste no time. Those are some surgeon fish. So I remember this spot. Last time I dive here, we found some lobsters. You can see that they are still there getting even bigger and as you guys can see the visibility is poor very poor Thank you. 
this is an huge school of surgeon fish was planning on taking one but didn't make up my mind as yet That's a jack swimming out of range. And as I said about the visibility again, you have to be at the bottom to actually can see anything clearly. That's a baby snapper. a next snapper way out of range that I still took a shot here's a next snapper a neck snapper this one is actually a closer encounter those two fish are some rainbow tail parrot a clear shot
that was a goldfish let me get a clear shot as well this is a chub line it up and take a shot there get that one and at this time if you're still watching please consider to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell Here I spot a nice size lionfish when you don't get a headshot. The shot I took killed the lionfish, but the spear didn't inside of the fish. So I have to go down back to get the fish. I get a lovely headshot there and the chick about shooting lionfish spearing lionfish you got to get them by the head that's their dead instantly so when you reach a clip up process you don't run in a, into a lot of trouble because they will try to defend themselves if they are not dead they will try to juke themselves to poke you with the spines so when you are spearing lionfish please go after the head at all times You can see I'm clipping it up with no problem. Scrape off the head. That's the finishing touch. Check our next crack again. There's an next baby one very tiny so I leave that one mm. 
this is a black chigga fish heading the coral to hide wasn't planning on spearing it though yes guys I'm out of the water now and tell you the water is very murky murky bad I mean, I see no fish no fish me out there about chill. What a murky, murky. Man, a way and I last, me get a, one chub and a lionfish. Yeah, it's a nice fat lionfish, you know? And a little chub. Still fine, me dinner still. But, as I said before from early on, when I just a come, I say, see here, so, the location here, yeah, the water I feel well calm, feel, feel like couple of weeks or two weeks or a week for you get yourself clean that are my experience with the so, so. water murky but the sea calm you know but the water dirty silky yeah, man. search and search I find nothing much I find a lionfish and a chub yeah so I give thanks to him right? a nice fat lionfish and cover the plate and she with me and my girlfriend. So I'm gonna go home. I don't know if I'm gonna do a cook up. So stay tuned still. Perhaps it happens. So I'm gonna clean them up here now and then made out because I get a little late. So if anything, catch you at home around the stove. So guys, the last lion fish I got I find a whole heap of small fish in him so I will go now and up on camera now. You see why in this belly? So when I look like in and I'm from morning though. Now nah, we not in my belly. Belly empty. Yes guys, so I'm home now. Yeah man, and here we have the lionfish and the chub. So I'm gonna do a cook up. Never planning to to do that but change my mind because um, when I'm coming on I stop by my mom and get some aki sorry I never record when I pick the aki them yeah I get about six dozen aki very lovely aki yeah man so I come up with a new idea now what I plan for do what I plan for do is I cut the fish them in some small pieces very small pieces and fry them crisp and cook them up with the aki yeah man, I know that I go bad man Vicky, just like how you would have cooked up with the salt fish some people use chicken back and everything there yeah, so adapt to the idea so what I have to do I probably fillet the lion fish and cut up the chub like a smaller now some small pieces very small pieces yeah so stay tuned for that that I got right now Yes guys, so this are the chub. These are me I talk about. So I'm using scissors and I clip them up, cut them up small. Yes, okay, so I'm gonna fry these now, Chris. So the lionfish now, when I go to get rid of the tail. And um, the spine bone I never cut off good. 
because I'm a knife me use when me out of seed so I go cut get rid of them now yeah. right here you know the bone is supposed to still poisonous you know. but then a sharp though cut off the sharp this off of them and them are one of the dangerous ones one on the back one on the side and so they may have flour flour back kitchen get knock get rid of the head to him Fillet lionfish, and I use a cotton board. You know. Don't try this, and we cut off the yeah. flesh. You know. Make sure you're not on the round that side there. You know. Because I fry it, I fry it crisp. I just get rid of this, this pine, this pine bone. You know, get rid of that middle piece. I'm going to cut up all of this fine, fine. You know? mm -hmm. Now I use a piece, I lower all my flesh up and I strip it so I can get off of it still. Yes guys, yes guys, so this is what I look for. Yeah man, so just I go add up one, just look a salt, a little black pepper, and then we fry them crisp, right? So I'm gonna drop them in the iris room. Show you what I want. So this has some salt, you know. Black pepper. Stir it up, you know, a little bit, you know. Well at you know, guys, so remember now the part of well at you know, and the aisle of well at uh, some crispy frying we are going to do you know. So, so some flour, add a little caramel to it, and then we add a little salt. Yeah, man, make up some dumpling, you know. Yeah man, and see the food stuff that we're having in the kitchen yeah. We're going to plant banana, green banana, soft yeah man, yellow yeah man, and yeah so, yeah, bag yeah so. Yeah man, and everything we're cooking yeah. We don't think we're putting a plant in yeah, the soft yeah man, just some banana, yellow yeah man, um, the dumpling there. Yeah. Now I pack up the pot tonight. That's some hockey well boiled yeah, so, you know. Yes man, I wait for it. I'm going to drop in the fish then in the thing, you know, the oil so like it well out.
Yes, guys, so they are coming in here now. The pieces them. They look like fish again. You know. So, you know, so make them get well crispy. Want them to well crispy. Well, as of now, all the bone them, when you crack them, they must well crispy. Me look for. So, I'll give them a little more time and fry out and then cook them, you know, cook them up, you know, cook down, cook up. So guys, reach where you want them you now. So we're gonna take them out of the pot. So these are what we're gonna use: tomato, honey, and, and some sweet pepper. So I'm gonna cook up the thing here now and some hot pepper as well inside. So tomato, onion, sweet pepper, hot pepper. So we're gonna do some cook up here now. Yes guys, so those are the fish, the fishes, the lion fish, the shark. Looking very nice, you know. Bad job killing them now. Remember guys, this is an original style. I have never heard, I have never seen anyone do this before. So feel free to try it, okay? And comment in the description what you guys think about. Yes guys. Yeah man, so this look like I eat here now, so I'm going to do a dish out here now. I'm going to eat this, so I have some platen. And I'm morning, I'm going to leave something in the morning. I'm going to eat with some fried platen in the morning. Okay guys, so here is it now. Yeah man, do this here. So the soft here, yeah. I never bother with the yellow here. Yeah piece of yellow yam I may have me see it look like it are gross so what I do rest it on outside or set it see if it can grow good mind it grows still yeah so this is some soft yam and the banana and the dumpling them right so looking good I go dive in at this now and see where go so once more guys thanks for watching as always happy new year again Remember to hit the subscribe button, hit that bell, same way. So, catch you next time, then, Zin.